recording. Very good. So now it's recording. How many of you are there? Uh, I don't see. I don't see it. I think we have. I think it's six of us, right? You can talk because I. All five. I all five. five. All that. Uh, very good. Okay, so for today we have this topic because I promised Adela that we would work on something from uh, Seminario 3, even though I was against it. Uh, very good. So, okay, all of you, what is a disability? Hello? Yes. I think it's an um, inability or incapacity, I don't know. Yeah, it's something that you can do. This is just a quick reflection for you to write. Oh. So, um, all of you write any of your thoughts on the topic. Okay. 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 Any of it. Then we'll take a look at some definitions, but not now. Tomas? Yes. Are you seeing what are we are writing? No. Yes, Where we are, are writing. You? We are writing. Yes. A lot. Oh. But I don't see anything. Where are you? No. Yes. Ah. ah no. We the are in the first <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. The next frame, that's why. Oh, sorry. Yes. But I, I thought I was presenting the screen, aren't I? Yes, but we didn't see. Yes, we didn't break the attention. Sorry. Well, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. Yes. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Well, then, <laughs> very good. Then start writing here because. Okay.
Okay, that's it. That's all? Yes. Yes. Location. <laughs> Just him. Very good. I was actually hoping for you to make a long definition, but well, uh, let's go on then. I think this would be a more interesting topic for a bigger class, but we always get the five people combo. No, sorry, five people package. Where, where is Griselda? I don't know. She didn't, she didn't, she don't come. She didn't come. That's French. Interesting. Never thought. She's the one who always came. <laughs> yes. Very good. Okay, because you are so quiet. <laughs> She's the reason that is so quiet. <laughs> yes, you're Today. like children when when they are <laughs> when children are focused, they are it's also extremely quiet. It's so. All right. What can you see here? Uh, these are all very many definitions of what a disability is. And one of you said something about it. Uh, Maria, can you read this? Yes. A disability is a disqualification, restriction, or disadvantage. Merriam and Webster in 1959. Sorry. Very good. Who was the one who said disqualification, which is the one right here? Andrea? Andrea, I think. Andrea. Andrea. She can't talk because ah. she has a micro. She's writing in the chat. Ah, right. Oh, sorry. I have to see the chat. Yes, Andrea is a limited condition. Very good. Okay, so at least one of you got it right. It's a disqualification, but well, you can always add your ideas here. That's why I made a space for you to write something on it. Very good. Well, well, this is all for you to see that it has evolved. It's no longer just like this. You will see that. Very good. Um, who who is uh, who else is there? Karen. This one here. Yes. An impairment such as medical condition or injury that prevents someone from engaging in gainful employment. Marian and Webster, 1959. Very good. Impairment is how you uh, an pronounce impairment. it. Impairment, impairment is when you are impaired. Sounds like a okay. beautiful word, but it's horrible. Imper impaired. Impairment, impairment, very good. So you can see that it's, uh, this one's here. Can you see which could be the uh, common factor between this one and this one? that are disadvantaged. Very good, they are a disadvantage. Advantage. Okay. One you... for full employment and the other say disadvantage. Very good, can you write it down, Karen? Yes. No, it's a disadvantage. Disadvantage. Is there another? Is there another um, common factor between those two? Those two definitions. Well, maybe you don't. You don't probably think of it that way. 
But in my opinion, this one, all of these two deal with physical aspects of a person. Oh, yes. Restriction. Mm. Then yes. a disability had to be, has to be with something physical. That's what they say. Uh, but well, that's just my opinion. Uh, that could be, there could be many ways. And this is all from a, an old dictionary. Um, okay. It took me a while to find it. <laughs> it's a very big one. <laughs> uh, all right. And Usuario? Hi. Usuario, that's a beautiful name. Very good. Can you read this, Usuario? Yes. It's a complex phenomenon that reflects the interaction between the human organism and the characteristics of the society in which it lives. World Health Organization 2006. I'm Agustina. Very good. I made a very good Usuario. No, it's a, it's a joke. <laughs> uh, I was just... It's silly. I was just curious. Very good. Uh, Andrea? She is your mic no on? She can read. She can read because she has no microphone in the computer. Oh, sad. Very good, Maddie. Okay. A disability is it's a concept resulted from the interaction between impaired individu individuals and the barriers created by the attitude and the context which prevents their full involvement in social activities on equal conditions. United Nations Organization, 2006. That's precisely from the convention. And it's a very interesting uh, idea. What do you think uh, the relationship between these two definitions could be? Interaction, interaction. Nice, interaction. That could be one. Yes. Do you, can you write it down? Yes. Interaction. Is there another common factor between that these two? Um, I think maybe it could be the uh, context. Yes. Context. I love that one. Can you write it down, Agustina? Oh, I don't know what. Ah, I'm not sure. Cool. Uh, if you are watching my screen, you can see that there is a. Cuadro de texto here. Do you see it? Yeah. So you can write something like that, like this. T T T T T. Yes, but I couldn't. I will try, but. Ah, sorry. If you are on a tablet or on a mobile phone, it doesn't work that way. I think I block it to write there. I couldn't. Because I sent you all the Maybe link. Maybe I could write you in the chat? No, I sent you the, the link for it in the chat. Do you have it? Oh, wait. If you search for it in the chat, there is a I link think... you have to click. Yes, I clicked there, but it's another site. Other side. Um, maybe you are right here. Not sure. Patient, it was. It's the first time in this chat. Yes. And I'm not good at the. No, technology. it's okay because it's a very uh, 
typical it's a very cool uh application but it's extremely difficult the google people didn't think this through but it's, it's another side or no it's from google yes yes it's it's loading oh um, maybe i think i hear Yes, I'm here. Text. I can see an anonymous hamster. Is that you? Yes. Very good. Direction. I think. <laughs> um, the context. Can you see the context? Yes, context. Yes. Very good. Yes. Yes, amazing. Yes, beautiful. Do you like it? No. No? I think. No, I didn't touch anymore. No, it's okay. Really? Just leave it like that. Okay. Lito. Very good. So it's the context. Interesting. Very good. So there you can see that now we don't think of a, a disability as something physical. We think of it as something social. Because it is something social. More or less. And so Agustina, Agustina was the one who came right on the spot. Very good. You are all so quiet. Interesting. All right. So we'll just start. Um, very good. Uh, Maria? No, uh, Karen. Yes. The Convention of the Rights of Disabled. Guiding yes. principles. Yes. Accessibility. Yes. Maria? Discrimination. No. Oh, sorry. Uh, one. Maria? Respect for individual autonomy, including the freedom to make one's own choices. Yes. Shall I go on? Yes. Uh, sorry, uh, Agustina? Full and effective participation and inclusion in society. Yes, sorry, that's it's a bit. Are you on this frame, uh, Agustina, right here? You have to go to the next one, like this. Do you see it? Very good. Yes. Look, these are all the countries that have signed it. So it's uh, it's also the first. Uh, convention of the 21st century. So they, there you can see that a lot of people have signed it, but the ones in green are the ones who have not applied it yet. And the ones that have not are not interested at all are the ones that appear on white. And it's no mystery why the United States appears as white, right? <laughs> You don't laugh. <laughs> uh, um, I give up. <laughs> there you can see, well, our country signed it in 2008. In 2008. And it has been ratified all the countries in dark green are the ones who have ratified it. So you can see that many of them have applied for it. And it's a very, not Egypt. Oh, it's so, in, such a mystery. Uh, well, so there you can see that it's uh, 
Very good that many people have uh, noticed that. Full and effective participation. Very good. Very good, yes. Let's go on to the next slide. Do you think uh, there should be other guiding principles? Well then, uh, let's go on to the next slide here. Can you go to the next slide, uh, the next frame? Sorry, it's a frame. Okay. Uh, um, Karen? Yes. Different types of rights. Article 25. It specifies that persons with disabilities have the right to the enjoyment of the highest attainable Attainable, standard, yes. Attainable, attainable standard. standard of health. Health with an What's the meaning of uh, attainable? Yes. I'm uh, right. Achievable, I'm right. but that would be an, uh, th something probably uh, you don't actually know. Attainable is when you are able to get something. Is the highest level of, of standard of health, health that you can get. That would be the expert that would be uh, like a, another way of interpreting it, okay. but uh, maybe you can think of uh, attainable with a synonym achievable. Okay, but I'm, I'm not sure, it depends on you. I'm saying achievable, but well, maybe. Well, there you can see that they have the right to the enjoyment of the highest standard of health, which is important. Uh -huh. uh, Maria? Yes. Article 13 of the convention affirms that the effective access to justice for persons with disabilities. Very good. So it means that they have a... Um, they have the right to be able to hire a lawyer and to speak for themselves, which is something that not always, not, it doesn't happen all the time. No. I remember a case in my aunt had in the Rios, a lady who was suffering from Alzheimer's, couldn't get a ticket back to Tucumán. And so she had to struggle for it a lot. And people can be so mean sometimes. Yes, very mean really mean especially with old people agustina yeah. they suffer a lot of money yes yeah. but before the but before the convention of for these persons they don't have to access to the justice i'm not sure but it, it actually specifies that they are they used to be objects of protection objects rather than people so they were something that you could just uh, protect from, from the things that could happen in the outer world. It happened the same for children as well. It was exactly the same, the okay. same uh, perspective for children, but that's another convention that I didn't prepare. <laughs> so probably this, okay. one, uh, this is uh, I read mostly the same because sometimes disabled people are uh, regarded as people who aren't able to fend for themselves. Yes. And so you have to take care of them and watch over them and try to uh, protect them from things that they don't actually know that could hurt them. And so they end up being ostracized and they the, well, uh, let's keep on going the articles and then you will understand. Very good, Agustina. Article 27 requires that the state parties recognize the right of person with disabilities to work. This includes the rights to the opportunity to gain a living by work freely chosen, inclusive the inaccessible to person with disabilities. Accessible. To person with disabilities. Very good. So this means the right to work 
a good work. And let's go this right to work. Right to work there. So we can add it here on the right for justice. Very good. Uh, Karen? Uh, yeah. Andrea, is she still unable to talk? Yes, because uh, in the computer she don't have, she thinks it's that computer and she doesn't have micro. Very good. Uh, Very good. All here. right. I understand. Karen, can you read this one? Yes. A state parties recognize the rights of persons with disabilities to social protection programs and priority reduction programs, in a particular regarding women and girls with disabilities and older persons with disabilities. Very good. To social protection programs and poverty. Yeah. There you can see it. Talks also about women, and I told yes. you about the lady who was suffering from Alzheimer's, and and they didn't want to give her a ticket back to Tucumán, to, to and it feels so inhuman, but still true, because uh, her son had to take care of her disabilities. All right, social protections, very good, um, Maria. Yes. The Convention's Article 24 states that persons which, with disabilities should be guaranteed the right to inclusive, oh, sorry, inclusive education at all levels on the basis of equal opportunity. These two, can you read them? Sí. Free compulsory education, implementation yes. of Diverse, um, I don't see much more. Sorry. Learning techniques. Uh, let me just. Sorry, it's my computer. Yes. Implementation of diverse learning techniques. And that means to accommodate the type of teaching to the different types of problems a person might have, which is something that practically never happens, very rarely. Interesting. And something that I didn't, um, add, I didn't add, which is some, but it's interesting, which is what Agustina said, that they were no longer uh, regarded as objects of protection. I'm gonna add it right there. Very good, there you can see it's no longer regarded as objects of protection. And the same happens to children as well nowadays. And so does any one of you work in civil, um, uh, how can I call it, civil law system? Maybe Karen? No, I think Griselda yeah. was the one. Maybe she could have said something, but no, no she's not here. I, I work a, in a special school that ah. helps people with disabilities. So what we are talking about, the discrimination is so true. It's awful. Yes. Especially sometimes with, son, with people who have di dyslexia. They just don't get them. It's impossible well, for school, people. Yes, well, in this school that I work, uh, the person has an intellectual disability. Ah. So, uh, 
yes. It so can I... be the change, the way we we talk about them. And for, for example, we don't say more uh, discapacitado. I know how to say in English. Disabled. No. We, that's why yes. we, we just have been talking about person, disabled just, people. Yes. Have, yes, we talk about a person with a disability. And yeah, the law of change that. Andrea yeah, is talking. Probably. Um, I don't want Andrea to get a lot of into it. <laughs> Andrea is, is writing that she works in a civil court. And there I saw the causes in which they asked for someone's disability and guardianship to be declared. Ah, uh, in which they asked for guardianship to be declared. Interesting. So the case in which. Yes. Um, right. Very good. So these are some of the rights, there are many of them. And this one was, uh, is from another article that I didn't include it because I didn't think it was so relevant, but uh, Agustina is right. Very good, Agustina. That is a, a link that it has, uh, it has with the Female Convention Act uh, for women because remember that it says here regarding women as well, and also with children, because it says here and girls with disabilities. And so they all bond together and they create like a big umbrella that is supposed to take care of all of them. But it's a, remember that it's a paper. It's not a person implementing it. It's a paper saying that you have to do that and this. And that's why they people like them don't sign it, or them as well. And that is another reality. Uh, interesting. Uh huh. Very good. Okay, now let's make a quick a pop quiz. Ah. Uh, uh, who of you remembers which were the guiding principles of the convention? Non-discrimination, I think. Yes. What's one? Uh, can you write it down? Inclusion. Yes. Inclusion. I write. Write it down. Okay. Agustina, do you remember something? No, I think, but I don't remember. Well, we could go back to the the other slide, but uh, um. This was just uh, individual autonomy, very good. Participation, very good. Non-discrimination. All right, uh, so let's see, yes. Individual autonomy. I'm sorry, Agustina. Uh, inclusion, okay. which is what uh, Maria said. Probably Maria, I think Maria, right? Yes. Yes. Ability. Full and effective participation, non-discrimination, and there was one that they all missed, which is accessibility. And I, I think they wrote it down. Very good. Lisela, Hello. you have just arrived sorry. for the final part. Uh, sorry, I'm late. <laughs> no, we still have two hours more of material. <laughs> no, no, it's a joke. Okay. I don't have time for two more hours. Oh, my God. Right. Stella, we are you know the topic you like. Yes, uh, I was actually I asking. No, no, what is it? Disability. Ah, Disability. Uh, you can read Disability. it on the chat. Are you there? Okay. He knows a lot. Uh, yes. There is a jam board right there yes. in the upper part. Do you see it? Okay. On the chat, you yes, have to I search for it. Lisela knows okay. a lot about it. Yes, that's why I was asking for. Uh, I, I don't. I don't have the link. 
in the chat. Can I you just, copy? I just please? resent it. You, I think you can find it. Please, please. I just sent okay. it. Very good. Ah, yes. Here is. Click on Thank it. Thank you, Andrea. And join us. Yes, join us. I'm, I'm And go here. to frame number six. I think I'm I've seen you. in the middle. Yes, right in the middle. Yes. And we have a long Perfect. way. Perfect. <laughs> Very okay. good. Uh, all right, we were just discussing the, the Convention for the Disabled People. And uh, we were Perfect. just discussing what a disability was. What is your definition of a disability? Uh, um, my definition is right now, like the Real Academy, the Spain Real Academy changes the term. And it says that it's uh, the barriers that people make to the disability person, not the person. Yes, it's... Uh, uh, it does, um, um, yes, the barriers. Barriers, yes. Ah, I, I, I oh, don't read you... this. Sorry, <laughs> I, I, I came back for frame number three. I'm not sure if you are here. Yes, yes. All right, can you see how many people yes, have okay. cited? Yes. There's a lot, but yet it's not the yes. one that is has been most signed by everyone. That was the Children's Convention. USA. Uh, USA yes, always hasn't signed Russia. anything at all because they don't want to fulfill with none of all yes. this crap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Exactly. I just said the truth. Very good. Yes. Uh, and it's so interesting that Russia that hasn't signed it also as well. Yes. And China, obviously, it hasn't. China. India, even India. less interesting. But our country yes. cited in 2008. So we have to, uh, I hope people are respecting that. Do you think they are respecting that? Have you had m many cases of people uh, being discriminated? Yes, I I have um I I have a lot of friends with son of doctors with disabilities and they are discriminated in education mm -hmm. basically. Yes. Mm, yes. Uh Sorry, but I think you won't be able to do this, this next part of the pop quiz. Okay. But probably you will be able okay. to go on to the next part because we have six more slides. Okay. Sorry, six more frames to get work on, get working on. All right, for all of you, which were the main rights guaranteed? Do you remember? The right for legal representation. Yes, legal representation. Yes. Yes, very good. Legal representation. Justice, very good. And the access for health, for the a health health care, yes, that would be ideal as well. Yes. Well, I have to pay my own doctors, so it's not not an exact science. Social protection, yes. Uh, Griselda, do you think there is a link between the Disabled Convention, the Children Convention, and the Women's Convention? Uh, yes, of course. It's all a group that is um, discrim discriminated or that had barriers, maybe. 
Yes, um, I was actually hmm. aiming for you to talk about being object of protection. I think the connection is the vulnerability. Yes, yes, totally. Vulnerability, yes, totally. Yes. So, well, that's my opinion. And it's oh, yours, it's very good. Object, object of, well, all right, can you, uh, can you write it down here, Maria? Yes. Sorry. Vulnerability. Very good. Access to justice. Very good. Social protection. You have an excellent memory, girls. Poverty as well. Attainable. Griselda, how do you pronounce how do you pronounce this word? Uh, I don't know what it means. I, I think it is attainable. Attainable, yes, very good. Attainable. But I don't well, know what it means. Maybe uh, if I say it, it means something as achievable. Do you know what is achievable? Yes. Well, it means the same. That's another okay. word for it. Because it's interesting. Uh, you don't actually see it a lot. Attainable is also part of the, um, the legal expressions in documents. Attainable, achievable as well. Uh, that's why that's all for you to remember and write it down vulnerability as well all right and now we're going to make a quick interesting game that i haven't have never played with anyone uh, i can see you smiling but you're not go to the frame number seven Let's make a quick okay. crossword with this word, disability. How many words from the ones that we have just uh, read can you, uh, can, can cross any of all of these letters? Very good. Yes. No, we say that it won't be a disadvantage anymore. But well, yes, leave it like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. Leave it like that. It's a disadvantage. Just try to write it. Poverty, yes. Yes, very good. Yeah, you're nailing it. To autonomy, yes. Inclusion, yes. Right, 
Yes, to work. Very good, yes. Something with B. Do you remember? Achievable? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, well, you could no. say attainable as well. I was actually thinking about barrier, but very good. Oh. Being object of protection, I love that. Uh. Sion, yeah. Yes. Yes, we are Very going. good. Do you like this type of exercise? Yes. Yeah, it's funny. Yes. I've never done this. It's fun. I had always wanted to do it on a whiteboard, but well, you cannot do it anymore with with people yet. We can Very do good. an orcado. No, the hangman. Yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah. this is more interesting because everyone can participate. In the and, also, well. and also, this one is not a... How do you call it? This isn't a contest. You do it. We all do it at the same time. And that is very important for children as well. Protection accessibility, yes. Very good. The protection doesn't go with an A, with an A. Yes, social protection. Yes. Social protection. Very good. Yes. Very good. Do you want to do this type of exercise more often? Yes. 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 I yes. knew you would love it. <laughs> yes. You, yeah, you like it. <laughs> God, you're such a perfect. Very good. Uh, now let's move on to a completely different topic. Can you go on to the next frame? Yes. Yes. Uh, are you here? Yes. Yes. Very good. All right. For all of you, what it means going to court. It's, what does it mean for you? Starting, Are you all lawyers? Yes. 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 All right, there. You can write it there. What does it mean for you to go to court? To a claim. Very good. Yes. Hi. Going to a trial. Actually, going to a, a trial. Uh, I'm not sure if it goes with an indefinite article, but then I'll check for you. Okay, thank you. Take legal action. Yes, very good. You know a lot. <laughs> Where do you read it? No, but that's because Priscilla came last year <laughs> with us. So yeah. the student and has Karen, become the master. And Andrea. <laughs> and Maria. Well, you don't laugh at all, as always. So it's okay. <laughs> Presided over a judge. I love that. <laughs> Presided. That's a new one. I didn't know that. Uh, didn't know that, but what did you read this? Um, um, Cabra Montes and Mountain Goat, anony <laughs> anonymous mountain goat. Because uh, a goat, a mountain goat, that is a Cabra Montes goat right there. Presided over a over by a judge. I love that expression. I think it was Andrea. Yes, I think I was Andrea. Yeah. Sorry, I, I I had forgotten about Andrea. I'm sorry, Andrea. Yes. Uh, very there. good. Very good. So she has 
presided over by a judge. Very good mountain goat. We have anonymous turtle as well. Very good. That's so it means a lot for you. It has to be exhausting. Um, very good. So can you all go to the next frame? Yes. And we'll start the, the final part of this class. Very good, uh, Maria. Okay. Go into court. Read the facts and decide if the statements uh, that follow are true or false. Very good. Go uh, the, the statements are on the next frame, so it's okay. Very good, Griselda. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, John Oliver is the owner of a car business called Oliver's Auto. John Oliver sold second-hand used cars in Chatsworth. 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 Very good, Maybe. Karen. Hello. Yes. Karen, can you go on reading? <laughs> Sorry, Griselda. Okay, many. Don't worry. Yes. No, I don't know. Uh, many of the cars that John sells previously belong to a taxi company. Two months ago, John Oliver sold a car to a woman named Susan Hicks. Susan Hicks paid for the car by yeah, check. Yeah, sorry. The I... cost was the, the A. Uh, the cost was one thousand pounds. The car was not a good one. It stopped working twice in the first week that oh. Susan bought it. Bought it. Susan mm -hmm. was angry. Susan was angry and went to John Oliver's office. Susan asked John Oliver to give her a different car. He refused. Susan telephoned her bank and cancelled yeah, the sorry. check. John. Yes. Um, All the A's. <laughs> yeah, my computer has Don a Oliver. problem, so it's okay. Don Oliver did not receive any money. The car is at Susan's house. The car will <laughs> not start. Susan telephoned Don Oliver last week and said that he can collect his broken car anytime he wants to. Oliver refused. He decided to sue Susan Hicks for a breach of contract and on the grounds that she did not pay him. God, uh, Karen. Continue? The final part. Karen, are you there? Well, Ag Agustina. Yes. Yesterday, Susan received a claim from Chastworth Country Court, which is the local civil court. John Oliver is claiming 100 pounds for the car, 1,000 1, pounds for the car, plus a court fee of 60 pounds. Yeah. His total claim is 160 pounds. Yes, very good. That's the claim. And uh, Agustina, this means county court. That's what we used to call County Condado, court. which is something that I don't know if we have like that here. Maybe it's pro province in our case. All right, so go um, on. All okay. of you go to the next uh, frame. And let's answer this question uh, with true or false. I'll write it there, true or false. Who wants to read the first one? Me. Very good, Maria. Hey. hey, John Oliver owns a taxi business in Chatsworth. Is that true? I think it's false. Yes, false. very good. Why? False. They use it car business. Because the car are, are where taxis, but it, uh, it's not the owner of a taxi business. Yes, yes, very good, yes. Um, Griselda? Yes, Susan Hicks did not pay in cash for the car that she bought from John Oliver, and it's true. 
the yes. Very good. Yes. By check. Yes. By check. Yes. Check. Very good, Agustina. Or oh, sorry, is Karen there? Maddie, can you write here? Why is it false? Office business. Very good. All right. So Karen is MIA, which is a very interesting expression, military expression. I come back. Sorry. Ah, sorry. Someone well, was not I was, door. I was, I thought you were missing in, in action. No, no, sorry. I come back because someone was knocking the door. So I have right. to go. Right. Very good. Okay. No, no, Can you? Can you read this? Uh, yes. Susan Hack kicks Pike's telephone Sean Oliver to ask him for a different card. Did you do I that? Don't know if it's no, I can't read it. Sorry, where are you? Are you here or are you here? Yes, yes but I can't read the text. Right. I think it's false. No, I think it's true. Or didn't, uh, didn't she? No, she went no. to the office. Ah. And she then she telephoned it. her bank. Right. So, um, Maria, can you write it down? No, sorry. Um, Karen, because she hasn't been able to go on working with us. Can you see? Not yet. Did you press and ah false? No. Right. You have to press out of the box in yes. order for it in order for the system to read your words. Very good. It's false. Can you write here? Why is it false? Oliver's office. Very good. Right. Uh, Griselda? Yes. Uh, John Oliver collected the car from Susan's house last week. Collected. Uh, I think collected. Mm -hmm. I think it's false. Yes. It's false. Why? Because because she she asked him to to take the the car, but uh, he does he didn't want to, and he started the, the he he go to court. He went. Yes, they she he sued her. Would you? Uh, he sued do, her. do you all think it was fair that he? was the one who sued for, yes. she, didn't, uh, she canceled the check and she didn't pay him the money, even though and she, she had already paid money. for it. Yes. 
Yes, very good. Paul. She could uh, sue him, but she didn't. She uh, directly uh, canceled the check. No, but why has he collected the car from Susan ha Susan's house? I'm not sure if it was you, Griselda, the one who did this. All of you, you can always go back to the, the, the previous brain. It's not just for me. Yes, uh, well, we'll just leave it like that. Very good, uh, Maria. Yes, John Oliver is not claiming any interest on the 1,000 pounds he says Susan owes him. Is that true? Oh. Yes, why? It was in one hundred and sixty pounds for ground plus a court fee. Yes, I love that yes. word. Court fee. It is a court fit. Court fee. But I think it's not interest. No, it is court a court fit. Uh, Yes, probably. Oh, but that's oh, I think it's true. It's not for, yeah, I'm not the one saying that. The book is the one who says that. So don't look at me. That it's false. Yes. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The book no, says you don't it's laugh. false. <sighs> no, no, but it's true that Maria says it, yes, it's it, not an interest, it's but not it's a fee. Claiming but, interest. Well, uh, well, maybe you could rephrase it and say it's not claiming any any more money. Any more thousand pounds, he says. But probably yes, you are right. He's but claiming well, for the the, the court, court fee. fee. Yes, but you are right. Uh, the book it doesn't say so. So you have uh, well, uh, the book is is wrong then. Very good. So, can you? Oh, sorry. Who erased it? Where is it? Sorry. Did anyone? Ah. Good. It was so long. Why are you laughing, Griselda? <laughs> because Gluton Anonymous. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gluton is something that I, I don't actually know the name in English. Who am I? <laughs> but who is uh, Anonymous Badger? I don't know, but it's... I, don't... I think it's Andrea. Andrea. <laughs> Andrea. I am Very Anonymous good. Ferret. What is Ferret? Ferret, Udon. Ferret, I don't know. Ferret, maybe. Udon, yes. Mountain goat. I'm the pink. Um, it is Very like good. a color, right? 
Yeah, I am so glutton anonymous. <laughs> you are a glutton anonymous. But I thought you were mountain, anonymous mountain guards. I don't know. <laughs> it's the light blue. I am light blue. <laughs> yes, very good. I think you, Thomas, are mountain goat. Mountain goat. Oh, mountain interesting. Goat. So, am I the mountain it's goat? Light. So tell me, am I the mountain guard? All right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Are like blue too. El figura con su nombre. Yeah. Andrea. Ah, cool. I I don't. Because you're the teacher, of course. Oh, yes. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> Very good. So can you go? Can you all go to the next frame? And we'll do this one. Uh, okay. And we'll just uh, leave because uh, Adela is probably preparing something, a final banquet. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Karen? Yes, I come back. Sorry, my internet was off. No, no, I didn't. Where, where are you? I, I... In a moment, I go out and then ah. I came back. Where are you locked off? I just tried it. Very good. Yeah. Who, Karen, who are you me? in Jumbo? I don't know. I think that I am the Cabra Montanes. Mountain girl. Very good. So, can you read the assignment? Yes. If my dog stop. Yes. Susan recites a claim from Chatsworth Country Cards. There are some words in the claim form that she does not understand. Her questions are below. Match her question with the correct answer. All right. All of you, who is the claimant? What is a claimant? It's a person who started the election. Very good. Uh, yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Who is a defendant? What is a defendant? A person, person the claimant is making a claim against. Very good. Who wants to to match it? Uh, Karen. Yes. Can you match it? I think so. With the one here, can you see the pointer? Yes, yes. I did it. Yes. Can you see it? Yes, I can see it now. Yes, yes. I am Very good. The... Yes. <laughs> All of you, what does defective mean? That's a very transparent expression. Not working correctly. Faulty. Yeah, yeah. yes. uh, very good. Agustina, can you match it? Yes. Um, sorry. Yes. So you know how to do here. it. It's right here. There's a pen. Oh. Can you see it? Yeah. You have to click on it. And then you have to do this. Ah, right. I did it. Yes, very good. Okay, everyone, what is direct loss? It is something that you suffer as a direct result of the breach of contract. Very good. Maria, can you match it? Sorry, is Griselda there? Yes. Here I am. Well, let's leave something for the one, the final one for Griselda because she hasn't talked. Consequential loss. What is a consequential loss? Have you ever heard of it? Do uh, we have something uh, like that? Uh, it's some. Perdida consecuente yes. or perdida directa. Do we have Lucas something like that? Como secundaria. Right. 
Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank you.